Uh, my daughter, who's 15 now, uh, uh, she uh, uh, asked me one day, she was about eight, seven or eight, and she said, Daddy, are we from slaves? And uh, it just shook the foundation of my being, and I said, you know, yeah, yeah, we are. And, and, uh, and so I had to figure out how can I explain our legacy to my daughter? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so that's when I wrote the children's book mm -hmm. uh, called Jelani and the Lock. Uh, Jelani is named after my son, uh, Jelani. And he's like 25 now. And, uh, and so uh, it talks about uh, a little boy taken from Africa, brought to the United States, put in locks and chains, and uh, eventually got his freedom. Abraham Lincoln, the whole Abraham Lincoln story. So yeah, the visual for the Abraham Lincolns is pretty, pretty funny actually. <laughs> the <laughs> like guy with the big hat. Big yeah, hat right. comes, the big hat comes and tells you you are free. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so it's 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 uh, it's the African American story. And slavery is a very difficult topic for us to talk about, even for African Americans. It's a it's a it's a very so point, mm -hmm. even. For European Americans, it's also, uh, as we have this shame thing happening, then we have this guilt thing happening on, 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 on uh, the European side. So that's where the dialogue, we miss, we seem to, you know, it's like a sore. As soon as you touch it, it began to bleed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I think that we have to talk about it. It's a memory that we don't want to deal with. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just, I mean, even in my own family, we never even talked about it. It's like a taboo subject. You don't bring that up. And uh, Well, isn't that the whole issue of education is extremely important. And so, I mean, I know that we're talking a lot about your art and stuff, but it, it seems to me that another piece of you as an artist has to do with education. And can you talk a little bit about that? Well, uh, yes. I. I uh, you know, I, I struggle with my friends a lot. I, I think art is about education. Uh, I think you have to really educate uh, as you go. I mean, I guess because I, I've been teaching for so many years, uh, and um, uh, I think it's a critical part of our of broadening our minds, broadening our being, because I think art does that. I think art opens you up to other ideas. I think it opens you up to other cultures. I think it opens you up to other uh, uh, venues that you would not normally uh, be a part of. Uh, I think uh, art is, is, is the essence of, of, of life and, and culture and, 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 and being as, as, a, as, a, as a community, and, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, I, I think I guess that's why I, I just been in edu education for so long uh, because I feel that it's, it's, it's a vital part. Of, hopefully, one of my students will eventually buy my work, uh, or support <laughs> the arts. You know, I mean, you know, I, you know, and which will just be a part of the whole process of opening, mm -hmm. opening up. And I think uh, uh, the educators and and, and the arts. Is, is the vital role in any culture. If you go back and look at any contemporary, any society, especially look at Egypt, the Egyptian society, you go back to the Renaissance, you go back to any major society, African societies, very much so. The arts is the essence of the people, and they talk, and they tell the story of the people, and uh, uh, they tell the story of our times. You see what the artists are doing today, they, they they are the ones that put their finger and their pus on the situation uh, mm -hmm. of what's happening. Uh, so I think, I think that if, if we don't, don't support the yards, then we, we are considered a dead society. Mm -hmm. I think, and I think well, and you have to start with the students, you, like my daughter. You have to start, I have to start with, with educating her mm -hmm. about the yards. 